Hey guys, my name is Wes Bico. Welcome back to the CEO Life today. First off, go check out my previous video. I talked about what's been going on with me. I've been pretty sick. Um, it's kind of why there's been a lack of videos. However, I wanted to make a video for you guys today. Even though I'm feeling terrible, my eyes are kind of red. I've got some redness going on around my mouth because of a bit of dehydration, but you know, I'm recovering guys. More videos will be coming soon. However, today we're talking about my top five cheapies. So these are fragrances that are really cheap. You get them for around $25. Um, and these are ones that most people haven't heard of. This is a list that I wanted to do because I go look at all these videos and I love watching fragrance videos, right? But there's so many people who do the exact same ones where they list Nautica Voyage, they list Mugra Cologne, they list Club de Nuit Intense from our moth. There's all these fragrances that most people know about. These are ones that are really unknown. So these are my like unknown top five cheapies. So let's get into it. First off, honorable mentions. I got a lot of these guys. Reason being is because I feel you're gonna want to try some of these out. There's ones that you have never heard of, guarantee that. First off, from the house Axe. We got Axe Signature Gold Dark Vanilla and Oud Wood. So what does this smell like? Massive kick of Oud. You can actually go check out my video that I did on this fragrance. Um, I have a full review kind of breaking this down. So go check out that video. But I'll just say this is a great fragrance. It smells very similar to the deodorant version of this if you get that. Um, but this fragrance is great. This is hard to find. Can't find this in America. You have to import this. Uh, so I ended up importing mine from India. This was like $9 for this bottle, but it's pretty nice. It's great stuff. Lasts a long time. If you're a fan of Oud, go check out this stuff. Axe Signature Gold, Dark Vanilla, and Oud Wood. Next, this is from the house of C.O. Bigelow. So this is from Bath and Body Works. What is this smell like? This is called Elixir Black. <sighs> I love this stuff. It smells the exact same as John Barbados Original. If you're a fan of John Barbados, you want something that's gonna last longer, something that's a lot cheaper. This was like $20 for this bottle. This lasts a long time. There's tons of vanilla, tons of leather, tons of amber. Go check this stuff out. So that is Elixir Black by C.O. Bigelow. Another honorable mention, this is our second last honorable mention from the house of Ferrari. We got Ferrari Black. This is my very first cologne I ever got. My mom bought this for me. I love this stuff. This is an incredible scent. <sighs> smells very similar to Boss Bottled, but I think the more classy version of it. This does remind me of kind of like the inside smell of a Ferrari. You can actually go check out my review of this too. Have a review of this on my channel. Leave a link in the description below or a little annotation on the screen so you guys can go check that out. Ferrari Black, great scent, very cheap, well worth it. Doesn't last a ton of time, but this smells great, especially, uh, I don't know, I think this is a great summer scent and spring scent. Last but not least, this is a fragrance I know most of you people probably haven't heard of. This is Ulysses by Vicky Teal. So what does this stuff smell like? This is a floral, uh, vanilla kind of fragrance. This is incredible. This has lavender, uzu. What else does it have in it? We got some musk. We got a bit of vanilla. You have some hawthorn, nutmeg, a little bit of mandarin orange, neroli, benzoin, bunch of different notes in here. What do I get from this? An incredibly hard to describe scent. This is great though. This smells kind of perfumey to me. Uh, very, this, this is marketed as a masculine scent. Definitely think this leans unisex, but I do like this stuff. And um, I just love the smell of this. Funny enough too, one weird combination I love because I have a little uh, diffuser in my room as I put this on in the diffuser. And then I also put Herod on, on one of my big blankets on my bed. And this stuff smells incredible mixed with Herod. Really weird combination. Wouldn't recommend putting them together on your skin but in the air, they smell great. So I'd highly recommend that. But this is uh, Ulysses by Vicky Teal, a lesser known fragrance, very cheap. Pick this up for like $15 and it's a great bottle. Lasts a long time, very, very nice scent. And I think this is a great gift for guy or girl. So go check it out, Ulysses by Vicky Teal. Now onto my actual list. So starting off at the top, from the house of Mont Blanc. This is one you guys have definitely heard of, Mont Blanc Legend. Mont Blanc Legend, what does this smell like? <sighs> exact same as Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. This is incredible stuff. So you got bergamot, you got uh, some white cedar, jasmine, lavender, oak moss, and sandalwood. So this is just a very masculine scent. Uh, very fresh. What more is there to say? It's kind of generic, but this does smell great. I love this stuff. Love rocking this, especially in the summer. One of my favorite cheapies. I picked this up for like $10 for this bottle. So go check that out. That's Mont Blanc Legend well worth it. All right, guys, so next up on the list from the house of Azaro, we got Azaro Chrome Legend. So here's what the bottle looks like. This stuff has a bunch of different notes in it. So you got some tea, you have uh, apple, you have some tonka bean in here. That's kind of the main notes I'm getting from this. 
It's a pretty nice scent though. Um, slightly kind of aquatic vibe I get from this too. What does this remind me of though? This 100% reminds me of the smell when you go through an automatic car wash and the smell of the foam kind of soap that you, they spray in your car. That's what this stuff reminds me of. Very fresh, very clean, very inviting. Um, and this lasts like 12 hours. So highly recommend this. Has a note of tea in here too, which I want to address because there's another fragrance that has a note of tea that I hate. This is Vulgari Pour Home. I actually wouldn't go as far to say I do hate this, but it's not something I like to wear and never pull out. This stuff just is kind of a, a room sprayer. That's all this really is. So this um, Vulgari Pour Home smells exactly like fresh tea. Like if you took a glass of green tea, poured it all over yourself, that's what you get from wearing this. Um, this stuff, while it is nice, it does just smell like tea. This is definitely not my cup of tea, not my slice of cake here. I do like this stuff though, it's just not, it's not really a great scent to me. It's also too, this is very masculine, or very mature, not masculine in a sense. You have like, say something like Antaeus from Chanel, that is a very masculine and uh, very mature scent. You can tell that's geared towards older individuals. This stuff on the other hand is just very mature, not really that masculine because it is that tea vibe, but this is something you would imagine like a 60 plus year old wearing honestly, but I mean, it's it's okay for what it is. So it's Vulgari Pour Home, um, but definitely go pick up a Zaro Chrome Legend. Great stuff. It's like 20 bucks for a bottle. Go check it out. This brings us down the list even more. So this is from the house of Michael Germain. So Michael Germain, I've done a actual review on this fragrance. Um, this was on one of my lists. Not, not a thorough review, but this is on one of my other lists, so you can kind of check that out if you want to see some more views on this. But this stuff here, so this is Sexual Noir. What does Sexual Noir um, pour home smell like? This stuff smells like, there's a scent from Bodman, and Bodman is a kind of cheap fragrance house. And it smells like fresh blue musk from them. Fresh blue musk is this incredibly musky, um, yet very fresh, inviting scent. Not a animalic musk but just a very fresh, clean, kind of like you just got out of the shower type of musk. That's what that smells like. Similar to like white musk from the body shop. This stuff is like that, but kicked up a notch. Smells great. Incredible scent. I love this stuff, guys. Um, highly recommend this stuff. It also lasts a long time. So that's Sexual Noir by Michael Germain. You can pick this up for like $19 for a bottle. I can buy this at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Great stuff. Very cheap. Well worth it. Next up on the list, this is from the house of Hugo Boss. We got Hugo Boss Extreme. What does this stuff smell like? Also to the bottle, very tacky, but what are you gonna do? This has a ton of kind of fruity aquatic notes in here. All I really get from this though, is this smells kind of like a bubble gum to me. It smells like an apple bubble gum. Like if you imagine if say Jolly Ranchers, the smell of their apple ones, they made that into a gum. That's what this reminds me of. Um, very nice stuff though. This lasts a long time. Uh, very inviting, what more is there to say? Just very apple dominated, very sweet, um, fresh, soft, very soft scent. Um, not harsh to the nose, like say like a Mont Blanc Legend. I find that's a bit of a harsher, very masculine in your face scent. This stuff is more of like for the gentleman. Um, very nice stuff, great like exploring scent, everyday casual office scent definitely. So go check that out. That's Hugo Boss Extreme. Lastly, we have a handful of fragrances here. This is for my number one kind of spot here. This is from the house of Cuba. So Cuba fragrances, they're these things. They look like cigars, very cheap. You can get this, um, you can get a pack of four for like $15. What do they all smell like? So they're all modeled after other fragrances that are out there. You have Cuba Gold here. So Cuba Gold, what does this smell like? This, this is a much nicer version of Lamal way, I don't know, I'd say even more more current, a more modern version of Lamal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. I have that, I have the original. I personally prefer Cuba Gold. I love this stuff, um, lasts longer to me than Lamal does. Less lavender, uh, more woody, kind of a more dry scent. I like this stuff though, the great for summer. As well, you have other scents from the house, like this. I'm pretty sure this is uh, Dunhill Red, I think is what this one's supposed to smell like. This is Cuba Orange, Cuba Orange, great scent. Perfect for fall. Um, what more is there to say? These are all like really generic scents. You have Cuba Blue, this is supposed to smell like a Calvin Klein scent. I think it's CK1. It's a pretty nice scent though, very fresh, very clean, very inviting. You got this Cuba Red, this is supposed to smell like Burberry, something from Burberry, I think it's Burberry Brit. Pretty nice tobacco, incredibly dry scent, but it's very nice again. And then finally Cuba Carnival, this stuff smells the exact same as Boss Bottled or Ferrari Black. So tons of apple. Um, just a really nice fresh scent. 
this stuff doesn't last a long time, don't pick this up, it's not worth your money, it's a terrible scent. Um, go for the original like Ferrari or Boss. But anything from the Cuba line, especially these guys, blue, red, orange, and gold. These are all great. Same with Cuba Black, I'm pretty sure is what it is. That one's supposed to smell like Angel Mint. I've never got my nose on it, but definitely Cuba Gold and Cuba Orange. My two favorites from that house. Cuba Red's also pretty decent. The bottles suck, they're easy to smash, but it's worth it for like $15, you get four bottles. Go check them out, guys. So that is Cuba. Thank you guys for watching my video today. Uh, so this, of course, as I said before, was my top five and many other honorable mentions uh, fragrances that are cheap that you guys have probably never heard of. Go check out this stuff, guys. Highly recommend it. And uh, most of these scents, I think if you wear them, you will stand out. They're not that generic. Some of them are, like, say, the Mont Blanc Legend. Um, however, a lot of these are great scents that most people haven't heard of, and I think you should try them out. Let me know what these scents, um, what kind of scents would you guys add to your list? Let me know below. And uh, if you want to see another video of this of some more top five cheap scents that are unheard of, there's a, a lot I have, uh, let me know. And I'll go through them, or if you guys want to see, say, ones that are geared towards winter, ones that are geared towards summer, let me know any video ideas you have below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try to post more videos soon. Take care.